I spoke to two different superintendents this week. They say really they're preparing for anything, although one superintendent does tell me she is not expecting students and teachers to return to the classroom this academic year. As you mentioned, we are expecting to find out from the governor what's in store for some one and a half million students across the state later on this morning. And again, school returning or not returning doesn't only affect academia. It also affects social experiences that a lot of students have within the classroom. Prom and graduation. We really especially my class at my school, we really been through a lot. It's a tough time to be a high school senior facing the possibility of not celebrating those milestones you'd planned on for years. But in the midst of a health crisis, students and teachers are facing difficult adjustments. So for the last two weeks, we have started down the road already of assuming that we're not going back. Today, Governor Whitmer is expected to announce what's in store for Michigan schools for the remainder of this academic year. According to a Bridge Magazine report, a drafted executive order would close K-12 through schools until the fall, allowing teachers to still be paid and seniors to graduate as long as they were on track before in-person classes stopped. But the governor is not confirming anything yet. Meanwhile, districts like Wald Lake Consolidated Schools and Detroit Public Schools have distributed thousands of meals to students who rely on them during the school year. For district leaders, the unknown poses a lot of obstacles, including keeping students engaged both socially and academically. My biggest concern is how do we take care of those children who either don't have access to technology or have access to it sporadically? How do we take care of our children with special needs? How do we take care of those children living in poverty? Still a lot up in the air this morning. Some are urging state leaders to take this two weeks at a time. A petition circulating online right now urging the governor to not make a decision until April 13th has already gained some 40,000 signatures, nearly 40,000 signatures as of this morning. Again, we are expecting Governor Whitmer to make an announcement later on this morning. There is a 1030 press conference. We, of course, will be asking about schools during that press conference, and we'll bring you the very latest as we have it. Reporting live in Oak Park. Park, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.